What happened? Where's the intro? David Smith here with one more flipped classroom math video lesson. Three tips before we start. First, remember you can adjust the playback speed to make it faster or slower as you like. Second, you can pause the video at any point to catch up on your notes or jot down some questions. Third, you can turn on the captions so you can read my words on the screen. Phew, that was a close call, huh? David. Hi there, guys. We're right at the end of our year. We're jumping into review week. You're going to have a big test in not too long. And before we get there, I just want to express my gratitude for you. Day in, day out, you bring it. You're doing math. You're watching tons of videos. You're doing tons of problems in class. You're getting stumped. You're trying and you're figuring it out. All that stuff is awesome. I really feel honored to be part of your process. Oh my God, look at all of you. You're all here. You guys have been in my life for a whole year and I have to say, it's just wonderful. You being here allows me to live in my passion. And you've heard this before, but I'm gonna tell you again, find your passion in life. I found mine, I consider myself a lucky guy. My biggest wish for you is that you find that for you. I don't care if it's math, auto mechanics, rocket science, whatever it might be, I want you to find your passion. And I wanna say thank you because you contribute to my passion. Without you, I wouldn't be living in that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. On a more serious note, I want to encourage you to study hard for our test. Pay attention to the material, look at the spots where you need the most help, and drill into that. Make sure to come to extra help because I would love to help you. Make sure to buddy up with a study buddy and help each other. And make sure, if applicable, to work on your cheat sheet so you have that resource during our exam. You got this! All right there, guys, I just want to encourage you to be relaxed. Don't stress out too much, because, like, stress is a bummer, man. And if you can be more relaxed while you take the test, I think you'll do better. So just remember, take some deep breaths, get plenty of sleep, of course, and study your material in a very relaxed, kind of casual way. Shaboing! just want to make sure that you hear from me to get enough sleep. Your brain needs sleep to function. If you don't get enough sleep, you don't function as well. So do your best to get eight hours of sleep before all of your tests. Oh my god! I want to tell you about your calculator. Be sure that you bring your calculator. Be sure that you know how to use your calculator. Make sure that your calculator is charged. 
Make sure that you have a calculator. Make sure that you can calculate. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Okay, let's do a straightforward calculation. All right, let's take a look at what we did this year. By my count, we did 275 tests. That's all students in all classes. 275 tests. Oh my gosh. Then we did 690 quizzes. Oh wow, that's a lot of quizzes. Now, exercise sets and videos, that number's getting awful large, all my students. The total there is 12,960. And my best estimate for the amount of math problems done this year in all my classes is 71,280. Oh my God. Wah! All right guys, it's been a great year. I just want to say before you take off that you should have a good summer. And guess what? Forget about math for a little while. You don't need to do it. You can just chill out, do the things you like to do, like sleep in, play video games, hang out with your friends. If you're an outdoor type person, I hope you get out on your bike, you get out hiking, you get out backpacking, you get on the river, you get on the rock. You do the things that bring you joy. That time is just around the corner, so just knuckle down, work hard, get ready for those final exams, do your best on those final exams, and then you can just shake it off and go have a fun summer. Wait a minute, where's the outro? What happened? Thanks for watching. Just before you go, make sure to write down any questions that you have so that you can bring them to our next class and get them answered. Also, remember that you can watch the video again if you want to deepen your understanding. Finally, if you enjoyed the video, please click like or subscribe. Wow, something's going wrong here.